Okay. I graduated from Georgia Tech in 1943. And at the time I left Tech, we didn't know anything about uranium or nuclear energy. And uh, soon after I got out of school, I got into, uh, into the nuclear business. I was in spring of 1944 that I went to Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge was uh, still under construction. It was started in, uh, in the middle of 43, so they only had a year going. They hadn't had time enough to uh, build good roads, so we waded through the mud, and Tennessee has lots of red mud. Uh, they had, um, Oak Ridge had three plants. A uh, reactor plant, the X-10 reactor, which uh, was the prototype for the plants they later built at uh, Washington State to produce plutonium for the second A-bomb. They had the uh, magnetic separation plant that I worked in, which uh, separated 235 for what turned out to be the first bomb that hit Hiroshima, and the uh, gaseous diffusion plant which also separated uranium-235 by uh, different uh, technology and uh, which proved to be a more efficient method. So after the war, the, uh, the gassy separation plants continued and they're still continued and the uh, electromagnetic plant was shut down except for some specialty isotopes that uh, they could separate magnetically. I, uh, I worked in the uh, separation plant until the end of the war when it was, uh, say, phased out. And then I moved over the hill to the, uh, to the reactor development plant where I uh, worked in the engineering uh, the engineering uh, instrumentation department and uh, I worked on the old X10 reactor keeping it uh, running and I did the control system for uh, uh, several small reactors the first, uh, the first fully enriched uh, fuel plants.